It's my feel good breakfast show. Now we were joined earlier on with Frank Solomon who's going to be taking us through one killer workout and how he's been keeping sane and fit while he's unable to venture off into the waves and enjoy the beauty of the ocean. Frank, you still with us, brother? Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> All right, man, so I know you've got a cool workout for us which you want to share with the rest of the audience out there. So where do we begin? Where are we starting off first? I think that it's so cool. I'm going to start uh, down, in a, down on, a, on the ground like this. All right. And we're gonna have our, our legs like in a, a 90 position like that. Okay. To do something. Yeah. Ah, so like a so little what, shin box almost. Box exactly a shin box. So what we're gonna do though is we're gonna add them to the shin box, and we're gonna we're gonna do a couple just to warm up. I try not to use my my Ooh. hands at all. Yeah. Oh, Frank, I love this exercise quite a bit for me as a runner. It opens up the hips, it gives me some good mobility. But you being a surfer, how exactly would you benefit from this? And why are you doing this in the first place? Yeah, I mean, your, your hip mobility in surfing, obviously, you know, you bend down and crouch down. So your hips are so important in all the mobility that you're doing. <sighs> so what we're going to do is we're going to move from that, and then we're going to come up into this position. So up, uh, <sighs> yeah, like Oh, that. that's good. I'm getting a... Really good stretch just out here in the front of that hip flexor. Is that correct? Yeah, that's exactly it, yeah. Oh, that's a really good one. You guys at home, try and squeeze those glutes. It just gives you that extra little bit of uh, stretch and stimulation on that quad and hip flexor. And chilling here with Frank Solomon, and he's doing something special. He's giving us a workout that's going to help all you surfers at home struggling with mobility or anyone in that fact that has some issues in the hip. The next step of this exercise is we're going to take your back leg. So me and my left leg. All right. We're going to move it to a squat position. We're going to go into a squat position. Whoa, that looked quite hectic. Let me try that out. Okay, so the back leg, I'm going to bring up. Go. Yeah. Squat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm in the squat. What's next? <laughs> and then you're going you're gonna to do the exact same coming down. So that back leg down, back into the 90. All right, so let me try that again, Frank. I've gotten in from the shin box. All right, going up nice and tall. Now take that back leg, swing it around. Is that what? correct? Yeah, like this. And then you're going to just go into the squat. Ah, OK, I got you, I got you. Oh, I love it. Nice big stretch there on the glutes. And then we're coming straight back into that position. Once again. Yep. Woo. And then we're going to do the other side. All right, we're trying the other side. You guys at home, try this as well. It's a little bit tricky to start off with, trying to figure out how to not knot yourself up. But uh, what you want to do is take this last leg, the back, uh, the back of the leg, bring it straight around you, get into a nice squat, hold that squat. That's just going to open up those hips nicely. And then you're going to bring it straight back into that restart position. Frank, this is an awesome one. I've never actually done an extension of the workout like this, so I'm loving it, man. Woo. Yeah, that, I, that's what I do 10 of those, so. Stay on each side and that really warms up all your hips. Yeah, and I'm feeling hips. feeling like a loosey goosey out here, man. <laughs> what I really like to do is that we're gonna we're gonna go into a plank position. Okay. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your left hand. You got it up, yeah. Reach it up and then you're gonna tap the inside of your uh, of your right arm, just under your chest, and then open up. Just oh. like halfway like that, yeah. All right. That feels really good. I'm feeling a good stimulation. My stabilizer and the shoulders are coming into play here, so I'm shaking quite a bit. But I think if you use the core, it's going to help uh, with this movement, right? That's exactly it. You're warming up your shoulders for surfing and your core. And um, yeah, I'm also over here. <laughs> Oh, you guys at home heard that one. This is a great exercise just to work the core and we're moving as well in this movement. And that's just going to incorporate extra stabilization and extra stimulation in those shoulders especially. So try this out. Try not to sway too much and really use your cords to support you. And you're definitely going to feel the stretch working. Oh, this is a great one, brother. Loving it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Let's do one more. All right, one more to top it off. This is lovely. Let's finish off strong, man. I'm with you. So what you could do actually is we could go into this one and then you could go, we go straight into a squat from here. And then um, I really like this one for, for the shoulders. I mean, surfing is all about really handling and then you, and then, yeah, and then exactly like that. Okay. Um, so 
What we're gonna do is just stretch open like this in front of a deep squat. And then just, I kind of like to do 10 on each side. And uh, I feel it really warms up my shoulders, my hips. And uh, yeah, it gets me ready to get in the water. Oh man, my back is just cracking and opening up in all this craziest of places. The thoracic twist is so good and my hips have just gone onto another level. I think I'm almost ready to do the splits here, man. <laughs> Frank, it's been so awesome to get a little bit of a piece of what you've been doing during the lockdown and especially how you're keeping fit. I know that your body has to go through so much when it comes to surfing and taking those impact of the waves, but can't thank you enough for blessing us with this beautiful session. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Rob. Thanks for having me and I, I can't wait to do some life saving with you guys again and uh, look forward to seeing you on the beach. Yeah, please see you there soon. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs>